How's it going everybody and welcome back to another video. So we're about halfway through the double XP event. And there's an extremely important skill in this game that I don't think a lot of people do during double XP because it still gives standard XP rates. However, what if I told you that it actually ends up giving more than two times the XP that it normally would do? Now, that would actually be pretty good, right? Well, in this video, I'm going to try and explain on how the archaeology skill is actually more than two times the XP rate during the double XP events. So if you do find this video useful, then do give the video a like, dislike it if you dislike it, and if you are new, then please do subscribe. We also have a Discord channel, which I will be posting videos as soon as they go live, so the link for that will be down in the description if you want to join that. And with all that being said, let's get into the video. Alright, so how exactly does archaeology work during a double XP event? So unlike every other skill in the game, archaeology doesn't actually get a double XP buff. So when you're actually gathering and restoring the artifacts, you don't actually get any extra XP. So the way that archaeology benefits from double XP is that the precision of your mattock actually gets doubled. So essentially what this means is, is that you actually end up gaining artifacts twice as fast. So let's say you'd normally get one artifact outside of double XP every sort of five minutes. In this, you're going to get one every two and a half. Now the reason that I'm pointing this out is because I want to make sure that you guys are aware that you are getting two times the artifacts, not two times the XP. Because getting double the artifacts in the same amount of time is actually how you end up having over double XP overall. So hopefully I'm going to end up explaining this in a way that makes sense. But essentially the way that you're going to be getting this bit of extra XP over the double XP is because of collections. Now basically there is two different ways that you can go with this, and this is where you want to be making your decision. So you're either going to want to farm collections for pylon batteries, or you are going to want to farm collections for tetracumps pieces. Now I'm actually 200mm archaeology and I never farmed uh, the pylon batteries at all, so I'm kind of unsure on how good these are for XP, however as they are just XP and no rewards, I'm assuming they're pretty good. Now with tetracumpses, obviously you have the chance at making a little bit of money there, However, every single ancient casket also will give you either one or two of the XP books that come from them. So because you can only get one or two books from them, essentially on average every Tetracrumpus is about 1.5 of these books. So just keep this in mind for a second because this is actually where you get your extra XP from. So sorry if I don't actually explain this super well, but let's go off my sort of just normal base everyday gathering sort of rate. So outside of double XP, I usually gather about one artifact every four minutes or so. So that usually means I get about one full Tetra Compass through collections every hour. However, during double XP, that means that I'm getting these artifacts about every two minutes. So during the event, that means that I'll have double the artifacts that I would normally have gotten in that hour, which means when I've finished restoring them, I've actually already gotten my double XP just from the restoration XP. However, on top of that, I actually have enough artifacts for even more collection turn-ins. So like I said, where out of double XP, I would normally get about one Tetra Compass per hour. During double XP, I am getting two. Now, this is actually a huge deal for that extra XP, because like I said before, the average from the ancient caskets are about 1.5 of those XP books. So again, outside of double XP, I would only get one Tetra Compass, which, uh, you know, is one and a half of these XP books. Whereas during the event, I have gotten two Tetra Compasses, which means I have ended up with an average of three of these XP books. So what this means is, is that I haven't only gotten just the double XP from restoring the artifacts, I've also gained double the XP from Tetra Compasses. So I can also try and convert this into the Pylon Batteries collections as well. So looking at the highest Zerotian collection, Outside of double XP, I think I'd probably be able to do about two of those an hour, and each one of those would give 100 pylon batteries. Now after level 98, every 100 batteries gives over 51,000 XP, which again, outside of double XP means I can gain over 100k extra XP an hour, which again means during the event, we would be able to do four of those collections, which would convert to 400 pylon batteries, which would end up being an extra 200k plus archeology span XP. And again, that would be already on top of the extra restoration XP that you've gained from the double artifacts. So I hope that I've kind of explained that somewhat well. I have no idea. Honestly, archeology span is probably one of the most important skills for pretty much any account. Leveling it to get the relics is pretty much a must for everyone, I would say. Whether it's something to do with helping with skilling or PVM, it's just an absolute must for any account. So yeah, hopefully that has helped some of you guys out. 
Like I said, we're about halfway through this event, so there's still absolutely time for you guys to use it, but it's also something you guys can use in the future. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for today's video, so if you did enjoy this, then do give the video a like, dislike it if you dislike it, and if you are new, then please do subscribe. And as usual, I will catch you in the next one. Thank you.